Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to tell you all about ways to wear your bangs when you're trying to grow them out. I had bangs all last year. They were straight fringe across the front. They were really super cute and I loved them. They were a lot of maintenance, which is okay. Uh, it was worth it. It was very styled all the time, but growing them out, mm, it's not the funnest of processes. So right now my bangs, you can see they're very heavy, so I can't go with like a traditional side-swept look because they are super heavy and gross. You can pretend like your hair is all one length by making it look like hair pushed behind your ear. And because my bangs won't necessarily reach behind my ear, they're not going to stay, so I need to use a pin. The hair pins that I love the most are these half size bobby pins. If you've not discovered these half size bobby pins, you need to get in on this. You are missing out. You just comb down the front of your bang, kind of pull the rest of your hair sort of out of the way. And then when you secure your pins, make sure that you're putting the bumpy side towards your head. The smooth side should be facing out. And the reason you want to do that is that it gives you a little more grip. So you've smoothed your hair down and open the pin and then when your hair falls naturally in front ta-da looks like it is just neatly tucked behind your ear the other way I have adopted for my best friend Kelly I call this the Kelly roll what we're gonna do is we're essentially gonna create almost like a headband look but with your own hair. And you only need one pin to do it. So what I like to do, I like to invite a little more hair to the party here. So I'm gonna gather in this hair from this side over here. So it's essentially just creating a really deep part. Then I'm going to section off the rest of these guys. And I'll just use a clip to hold it back. Okay, so what you want to do, we're just going to roll it. And it's kind of the same idea as a French braid where you start with little pieces, roll, pick up, roll, pick up, roll, pick up until you get to the end. So that's what we're doing here. Let's just, let's just hold these over here. So we're going to start on the end with a tiny little section. You're just going to twist up whichever direction feels most natural to you. I like to twist kind of up and back. Start with a little section then pick up a little bit more, roll it, pick up a little bit more, roll it, see what's happening, pick up a little bit more, roll it. When you get to the end, you can let this down. You're just going to kind of find a natural spot. You don't want to come down to your temple, you don't need to come down that low. Alright, so you take your pin, you open it up, bumpy side towards your head. You're going to straddle a little twist and then you push it back through the roll. And you can take little bits and just kind of tug on it. It gives you sort of like a little bit of a pompadour effect. And then your hair just falls in front of it like that. Then you just want to adjust your part. It will go nowhere. This is a really great way also to wear your hair up in a ponytail. So you're not just like pinning your bangs down and having a million pins holding it. It will hold all day. You can wear it up in a bun. You can wear it up in a ponytail. You can just wear it down like this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to stay up to date on my videos and you want to see more, hit subscribe down below. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Snapchat. All that information is linked down in the description bar. Thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you in the next video. Um, and because, don't look at my gray hair. Oof, it's pretty bad. There we go, it's going. And then push it, that did not work. Motherfucker. Oh, didn't fucking work at all. I'm a liar. Hit the subscription. Hit the subscription. <laughs> How do you say it?